Hey everyone, it's Timothy Karambat, co-founder of Ramp. And today, I'm actually gonna walk you through how to use Ramp's ERC-1155 contract generator. Now you may be asking, what even is ERC-1155? So you're probably familiar with your Board Ape Yacht Club type of collection where each NFT is a unique image and can only be owned by one person at one time. And you can actually see this even on places like OpenSea where you see the token standard is ERC-721. With Ramp, we use ERC-721A, but in principle, they are the exact same standard. Today, we're gonna to explore ERC-1155 and maybe what it's useful for. So a good example of ERC-1155 is the Adidas Originals into the Metaverse. Now, what is this? It has two items and 21,000 owners. How's that possible? So you'll see that they, if you go to the collection page, there's only two images here, but there's 21,000 owners. The way that this works is think of ERC-1155 as a token that can have its own tokens. So pretty much each token in the collection can have multiple owners. They all own the same image and metadata, but they have their own token that represents their ownership of it. And that sub token is what is non-fungible. So you'll see that this phase one has 4.4 thousand owners and 5.8 thousand minted tokens total. And you'll notice that this is token ID zero. And if you were to go and look at any of these people, they would have token ID zero slash 5,288, right? And what this allows you to do is the great thing about ERC-1155 is right now, Adidas has two tokens under the same contract. Both of these tokens are in the same contract, but let's just say they just decide to do another drop. They don't have to make a new collection. They can add a new token and now there will be a third token and it doesn't have to match. It can be a totally different third token with a whole different set of owners, a different price, different you know rules about that token. So this is a really good way to, for example, an ideal use case for 1155 is something like with Cool Cats had, with Cool Cats events. Now Cool Cats is on Ethereum, but you'll notice that there are 1155 contracts on Polygon and they have 17 items and they continuously add new ones depending on what event they're throwing. And you'll see that each one of these is unique, but they all have very, they all have a, a number of owners. And you can actually see they did two of the same images here, but with different colorways and that actually is kind of a rarity in and of itself these three right here they're all very similar they just changed colors that's it but like it's almost like a membership right and actually a membership is a really good way of using erc 1155 where you have like a low a medium and a high tier membership but rarity is not important and the thing is, is with 1155 rarity isn't important what's important is your ownership and actually like a, a, what Cool Cats does with theirs is if you hold a Cool Cat, when they have these events, you can go and claim them. And because it's on Polygon, it costs nothing. And actually, in most cases, you don't pay anything. Cool, Cat will cool Cats will drop it into your wallet and it'll appear on OpenSea. So ERC-1155 is a very easy and extensible way to add recurring revenue for your NFT project or airdrop holders of your NFT project very easily now ramp allows you to do this without any code and the best part about this is actually our contract gives you way 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 more functionality than i mean you could really ever dream of so let's just hop into it we're going to start with making a new project so we're going to create a new project and you'll see there's two types now 721a which is our traditional one and then 1155 we're going to create a new 1155 and the first thing that we need to do is to create a smart contract. Now you're probably asking yourself, wait, where do I put my images? Like, where do I do any of that? Because each token in the contract is its own image, you actually have to make the contract first so you can make a token for your image. This is kind of actually the inverse of 721A, where you have all your tokens ready and then you make a contract. With ERC-1155, because you can have as many or as few tokens as you like, and you can make them over time, it's actually a lot like more extensible here for you to just come and be like, okay, you know what? It's time for a third drop for my holders. And so I, I'll add a third token today and I'll airdrop everybody. Like that's the good part, but you need a contract to start. 
So let's make one. So we'll do this on Ethereum. And you have the choice of Polygon, Optimism, or Arbitrum. And we'll just name this uh, my you know, collection extension. And then we'll just call this CXT. And we'll just be like uh, testing ramp ERC 1155. Uh, we're going to do no royalties. And if we have a website, we do. We're on it right now, but yours would probably be different. And then there's not many features to have here because the features are actually in your token, not in the contract. Well, they're in the contract, but they're specific to the token. So with this, the really the only feature you can have, which if you have ramp flight pass, is you can remove the ramp commented signature at the bottom of the contract. We're going to leave it in there. Um, and then, of course, you still have your regular payouts table and you have your header mark if you would like to make one. It's the same process as if you were making a 721 contract. You know, we could just call this extension and we'll just paste it into our contract. All right. And then we'll click next. And then we'll generate this contract and this will take a couple minutes to complete. So now you'll see that we have our source code as you'd expect and the ABI. And you know, this kind of is very, very similar to making a 721 contract. The next thing we need to do, of course, is to deploy this on a test net because we're on Ethereum. We're going to be deploying to Rinkeby. So let's swap to the Rinkeby network. And then right now it says I have 97 ETH. Of course, we're on Rinkeby, so it's not real ETH. Uh, if you needed some ETH, there's a link right here. You can go get some. Alchemy will drop you 0.1 ETH. It's perfect. It works out beautifully. Next step is, of course, the same one-click deployment that you already know and love with Ramp. We'll click Continue. And then we're going to go and we're going to fetch that contract deployment. And we're going to grab the transaction hash. And then we'll wait for this contract address to appear. Okay, and now that the contract address has appeared, we'll copy that and we'll go back to ramp, paste that in and click update. And then of course, the last step is verifying the contract. We can open this link that'll open Etherscan with all of the configurations that we need. We'll change optimization to yes. We will then copy paste our entire source code into the view and verify and publish. And then you will see that once we are verified, we can go back to the contract and we will see that the code is available. And if we go to transactions, you will see that we created our contract. All right, so that's it for that. Uh, now let's go to manage our contract. So this is where you can get familiar with your entire ERC-1155 collection. So if we went to view on OpenSea, nothing would be there because we don't have a token minted yet, so there's nothing to show, and OpenSea won't show our collection. You'll also notice that there's only one toggle here, the contract minting status. Toggling this switch will enable or disable any of your tokens on your contract from being able to be created or minted, because we do offer a mint button for every token. And if we go to this tab, you'll see that we have tokens. This is where we create and manage tokens on our contract. You can do this at any time, but be warned, you cannot delete a token once it's minted. This is on the blockchain after all, so you can't do that. And then of course you have your standard withdraw ETH, something that you're already familiar with. You click this button and you get paid. Now let's create a token. So to create a token, it's a simple process and actually you don't even need to prepare any metadata this time. So let's just call this the ramp token. And it's going to be something cool, looks like the ramp logo. And we're gonna call this, and we're gonna have a trait named service or product, I guess, maybe product. And we'll call it ramp.xyz. And then we'll call it status premium or pro. Let's call it pro. And we're just gonna have two traits. We'll go to the next. Now it says to create a new token, we need to upload an image to IPFS. I have Pinata open, so let's do that. And I have a file on my desktop already of the ramp logo. So we'll upload that and we'll just call this ramp logo PNG. This name is purely for us. It doesn't matter what you call it. You can call it anything, just something that helps you discern it from all the other content you may have already uploaded on IPFS. So now you'll see once the images has been uploaded, we can click on this purple link and that will show us our image that our token is going to have. And then we, of course, get a CID. This is what we need. So we'll click that and then we'll paste that into there. 
And now we're going to create a token. Now we don't have to really do anything. We can just click this button and you'll notice that we get a JSON file. And inside that JSON file is everything that we've typed in. We have the token, the description, the attributes, and then of course the image link, because that is what's going to show on OpenSea. So let's upload this single JSON file. I'll put it to the desktop. And so again, the name does not matter. We'll call it ramp token JSON. There we go. And then of course, we'll wait for this to upload. Now, once the ramp token JSON is uploaded, we're going to again, copy the CID and paste it into the metadata. Now, the last step, should we allow the public to, uh, to mint this token off of the contract as soon as it is created? We probably don't want that because this is a special token and we only want to airdrop it to people. Now, this toggle switch does not apply to us because we're the owners of this contract. Now, token is tradable. Can someone who owns this token send it to another wallet? This is the concept of soul bound tokens. And it's very popular right now, especially with ERC 1155. This would only allow somebody like to basically be able to move their token around. If you said, no, you are the wallet. I want to hold this token. Then once it arrives in their wallet, that's it. It can't go anywhere. So we're going to have these tokens as tradable so that people can send them around to their friends and whatnot. Token supply. This is actually something that can change over time. So ERC721 has a strict token supply. The number is the number. Once you launch the contract, that's it. With our ERC1155 contract, you can start at a supply of 100 and then later increase it to 200, then 300, then 10,000, then 1 million. You can keep going up. You just cannot decrease the supply. And the first token goes to the owner. So we want to make this supply 101. One for us, 100 for the public that we're going to be launching to. And then maximum mint per transaction. This is essentially how many can someone buy of this token in one transaction. Since we're not going to be allowing the public to mint, this will just this is not a relevant field for us. And if we were going to be using the mint button for this token, we could set a fee here. Of course, zero is a valid fee. You can have it as a free mint, um, or you can have it as 0 0.01. Let's make ours free. Uh, this again, this fee does not apply when you are minting a token as the owner of the contract. And so you'll see here is our kind of review. And you'll see that we have no token price, max supply of three hundred and one tokens, one for us, 100 for the public token is tradable, and it is not going to be open for minting on creation. So let's mint the token. Now, of course, this action is irreversible. So we are positive that we want to add this token. So let's commit. So we click this, we wait for MetaMask to show us a con confirmation. We click confirm. And then we simply just wait on this screen until the confirmation is complete. We now have a ramp token managing. We can now go and manage the details of this specific token. So we'll go and do that. Now, this is where things become very familiar to ERC 721A. You'll notice that all of the details and the controls you have are available right here and they apply only to this token. So you can prevent just this token from, ha uh, from being minted open or closed. You don't have to control the whole contract. You can just focus on this specific token. Same goes for allow list. Yes, with ERC 1155 on ramp, every token that you have has its own allow list so that you can really only award tokens or if you wanna have a public mint, um, only people that you have validated that can claim this membership can claim. And then of course you have the token is tradable. This is something you can toggle on or off at any time. The supply cap, which of course you cannot go less than, you have to only increase. And then the minting fee, which is zero right now, but you can change that to anything. And then max mints per transaction. And then of course the ability to airdrop one or more tokens to whoever you like. Now. Uh, we, this is the allow, dress, allow addresses field. Any address in here will be able to claim a token when in allow list mode. Uh, the token embed button looks very similar to the ERC721 uh, mint button, 
but it only mints the specific token on the contract. You'll see that this minting button target token is number one. And then of course, there is a view on OpenSea. Now, because the f when we created the token, we became the first owner. If we go to OpenSea, there is a ramp token. And you'll see that it says something cool. Looks like the ramp logo. We have two properties now, ramp product of ramp XYZ, status of pro. And you'll notice that our token standard is 1155. And if we wanted to, we could sell this token because it is uh, tradable. So that is what it looks like to build and launch an ERC-1155 contract on ramp. Now, of course, we did this on the Rinkaby network, but of course, you can go to deploy this to mainnet. Uh, you can then also go and build a minting page so that you have a place to, for people to mint the token of your on your contract that you are trying to uh, have people claim. And as always, you can go and just create another token. And all of these tokens that you create exist under the same contract. So if you have 1 million supply of one token and you mint out, and then you're like, okay, time to do another airdrop. You can then just create a token right here instead of creating another contract. This process on mainnet of creating a token only would cost you about $4 USD in gas. So that's how powerful ERC-1155 can be. ERC-1155 is a fantastic way to continue rewarding your community from your original projects or for new projects. If you're a musician who makes music, this is a great way to sell editions of your songs. There is unlimited potential here with Ramp's ERC-1155 contract, and we really hope that you will use it and really impress us with some of the stuff that y'all create. That's it. If you have any questions, feel free to comment on this video, hit us up on Twitter, join our Discord. We're always around to help, and we are looking forward to what you create. Thank you.